Congress confirmed brand new information about a crime affecting members of a community who aren't used to hearing the word homicide. I'm a lifelong resident. It's too close to home. I mean, and for them to pick this spot, it, it, it just scares you. What I would like to say to the police department is they really, really need to uh, get a move on it. There's now a $10,000 reward for information that leads to the capture of the person who killed Al Roach inside a Florissant auto body shop. State Representative Keith English and two others from Florissant came up with $5,000 to add to the other five grand put up by a business that asked to remain anonymous. Neighbors of a usually quiet St. Louis County city are pleading with their police chief to catch that killer. News 4 this morning's Andre Hepkins spoke with the Florissant police chief about the growing concerns of crime in their community. When you walk past historic churches, schools, homes, or flower buds that give a name to the city of Florissant, you don't get a sense that down the street from Fritz's Frozen Custard, Old Town Donuts, and the Water Tower, that cops are investigating a callous killing. I was a very quiet guy. Um, just, he showed up for work every day. He did his... He was just a good guy. George Erling has worked at Montgomery Auto Repair on Washington Street since 1990. From 99, he'd worked with Al Roach till Thursday. It's such a tragic, senseless murder that should never be. Your friend, your co-worker, your colleague was shot dead in this shop. Yeah, right, right here where we're standing. Someone shot Al Roach dead Thursday evening, August 20th. That person burst into the shop and used a bullet to kill a man and not even take any money. He exited the building quickly after the shot was fired um, and did not take anything from the uh, store. We don't see this type of violence here in the city of Florissant. When most people think about Florissant, they think about historic Old Town, which includes a number of places such as the Old St. Ferdinand Shrine, as well as Sacred Heart Catholic Church, which is right across the street from Handel's Cafe, and all three are on the National Register of Historic Places. I was born and raised here. I went to high school here uh, in, in the neighborhood. I went to the uh, local schools. Um, my wife and I, we raised our, our son here. We, we live in uh, the middle of town, not very far from where this happened. So absolutely, this is very personal that this happened uh, so close to home. Florissant Police Chief Timothy Lowry calls this city home that's dealing with its eighth homicide in under a decade. Well, those homicides that we've had in the past have either been domestic related or possibly drug related, but uh, this is the first homicide that we've had in a long time. But now, this deadly crime has shaken the psyche of Florissant families. We walk our children to school and we want this neighborhood to be safe. I wouldn't think anything would happen like that such so close to home. I'm just worried that it's going to get bigger and bigger and spread everywhere, like over to St. Charles possibly eventually. I've had a lot of phone calls. I've had a lot of uh, emails about people who are very concerned about the safety of the city of Florissant. And I, and I promise you and I promise them that our city is, is a very safe city. In Florissant, Andre Hepkins, News 4. Again, there's now a $10,000 reward for any information in that case. Police are looking for 2010 to 2013 Acura MDX, that's dark gray or black, with an unknown temporary tag. If you have any information, please call Crime Stoppers at 866-371-TIPS.